Allahu Akbar. Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Meriam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, cash. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art, it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem, and second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as The Strangers, and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah, today you'll be hearing some slam poetry, and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate, so no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content, um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them, and that's something very personal, and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so, yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two, about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tahani has also been featured on HBO's Death Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Tahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theatre in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Tahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. 
Um, so welcome. Welcome another one of our poets up to the stage while sister's going to be um, trying to, uh, inshallah, sort out that connection. Sister Naima, please do introduce yourself and um, go for it. Hey, Samalikum. Hey, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a middle school teacher. Hey, guys, if you're watching. And um, I wrote a poem called Allah's Protection after a trip to Italy. Um, should I start? Yes, sister, please start. Okay. Allah's protection. I am the embodiment of fear. I am the media's sensationalized, senseless stereotype. I am the target of non-discriminatory discrimination. I am the source of entertainment for TSA. If you stay in Roma for three days, you'll fall in love, said a Roman cab driver. I was in love, subhanAllah. The sweet smell of lush grass, morning dew, fresh, uh, fat, fresh baked bread, and the robust smell of coffee in the air. Blessed, I was there, a part of preserved history. Dodging puddles and warm raindrops, crossing busy Italian streets full of mopeds and compact cars, blessed. I was there, a part of preserved history. If you stay in Roma for three days, you'll fall in love. I was transported through time, blessed I was there, touching parts of history, the Colosseum, still held excitement, happiness, sorrow, and death of the ones who once inhabited gates and played in that space. Tucked within a historical site was a modern metropolis that was living and thriving. Blessed I was there to be a part of preserved history. I am the embodiment of fear. I am the media's sensationalized, senseless stereotype. I'm the target for non-discriminatory discrimination. I am the source of entertainment for TSA. <sighs> Leaving was a breeze all through all the security checkpoints. I was asked, but I had no choice, to get my head patted down. I am the embodiment of fear. I am the media sensationalized, senseless stereotype. I am the target for non-discriminatory discrimination. I am the source of entertainment for TSA. Oh, okay, yeah, you have to take off your headdresser. Angered, bewildered, and helpless, I'm an American. If you stay in Roma for three days, you will fall in love. I was shackled, yet there were no chains. I was bonded, yet there were no constraints. I'm the embodiment of fear. I am the media sensationalized, senseless stereotype. I'm the target for non-discriminatory discrimination. I'm the source of entertainment for TSA. Why, why do I have to take off my hijab? Procedure, oh. I suppressed anger, humiliation, outrage, focused my attention on the khaki national fascist uniform, focused my eyes intensely scorching her face. If you stay in Roma for three days, you'll fall in love, humiliated, helpless, less than human. Is this how my ancestors felt? Generations of emotions passed down my silent subconscious. Just say yes, master. You don't have to go around showing your feelings. Handle it, be strong. Don't let them see you cry. Hold your head up high. And I did. Hijab, my protest to society that held me against my enslavement was taken away. Yes, master, burned in my soul, ingrained in me, and I didn't even know. Where waves of tears a blink away, tears for the Muslima, tears for my ancestors. I am the embodiment of fear. I am media sensationalized, senseless stereotype. I am the target for non discriminatory discrimination. I'm the source of entertainment for TSA. Hijab is my safety, my shield, my security. I was exposed, endangered, erroneous, asked. Asked, the truth is I couldn't really refuse to take off my hijab without being branded guilty. If you stay in Roma for three days, you'll fall in love. 
I was shackled, yet there were no chains. Bound, yet there were no constraints. This is stop and frisk. This is sus law. This is a new apartheid. I was shackled, yet there were no chains. Bonded, yet there were no constraints. No one can protect me but Allah. Glimpses of oppression, the ummah shakes off because they are not ours. We say they are Asian. We say they are Arab. We say they are black. We say they are Desi. We say they are white. We are shackled, yet there are no chains. Bonded, yet there are no constraints. No one can protect us, only Allah. MashaAllah. SubhanAllah, Sister Naima, I met you in Brooklyn for an event, right? Uh, yes, eighth grade graduation. <laughs> yes, uh, you never told me that you wrote poetry so beautifully as well, MashaAllah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was just blown away and I feel like you hit on some very deep, deep points um, for us to think about as an ummah, especially in these times that we're going through when we think about other people and you know what class or what tribe or what race they belong to but really the fact of the matter is is that we're all muslim and we have to see ourselves as an ummah so i think it was beautiful that you did that and i just love your poem thank you so much thank you so much thank you what yeah, key. Okay. 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 Uh, I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily um, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success, and I can say Alhamdulillah from the bottom of my heart. I think this was phenomenally successful. So, Jazakallah Khair. I want to say a special Jazakallah Khair to uh, Tahani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know for taking the time out you're also a mother so you know it, i know it's difficult juggling uh duty so i'll reward you for that and um, yeah do you have any closing remarks aisha um i just wanted to say that um alhamdulillah 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 may allah bless all of the viewers for attending um i pray that we all benefited an event without our poets um now saying that as well um I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you can see me now. Um, no further ado. Uh, you can find The Strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Sister Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul khair. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> and lastly i just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces each one was mind-blowing and touched my heart and i'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and a lot of poetry over the years as tahani and as aisha can both attest to we had an amazing level of talent tonight. Um, so may Allah reward you all. And yeah, I'm going to close it right there. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.